Welcome to Tea Party Patriots Seminar devoted to what we like to think of as our new way to talk the talk. Five years after the Tea Party movement started, our message hasn't changed. Fiscal responsibility, constitutionally limited government, and free markets. And those words are a mouthful, and their concepts can be hard to explain. Our supporters, local coordinators, and leaders around the country asked us to develop a new way to spread the word, a better way to talk the talk. It all starts with our new Tea Party Patriots theme, Pursue Your American Dream. It's simple, yet powerful. And while it can mean millions of different things to millions of different people, the basic idea is the same for all. Every American is unique, and every American deserves the freedom to pursue their version of it. We created this new theme after your input and the input of our supporters. We then took your ideas to a broad cross-section of America. We asked what freedom meant. The overwhelming response was the ability to work hard, keep more of what we earn, and the right to live our life as we see fit as long as it does not infringe on the rights of others. In short, pursue your American dream. It's the first thing you'll see on our updated website, where you'll find powerful yet precise information presented in a way that everyone can understand. Right underneath our new theme is an example of what I'm talking about. Whenever anyone asks you, what does Tea Party Patriots stand for? Now there's a ready answer. Tea Party Patriots stands for every American and is home to millions who have come together to pursue the American dream and to keep that dream alive for their children and grandchildren. And who in the world could argue with that? And that's the whole point. We've just made it easier to understand and taken the wind out of any opposition sails all in one sentence. I suggest you memorize it, then tell it to supporters, tell it to reporters, tell it to those in the opposition. It works. The pushback you may have encountered before is gone. When you say you stand for the American dream, who would be against that? We have a clear vision of what America stands for. With your help, we have developed a simple yet impactful vision statement. We envision a nation where personal freedom is cherished and where all Americans are treated equally, assuring our ability to pursue the American dream. Personal freedom and equal treatment for all Americans. That's really all we ask for. It doesn't matter what group you belong to, what views you hold, for whom you vote, what causes you donate to, or what title you have. Equal treatment and personal freedom is something we as Americans cherish. As part of that freedom, we respect those who disagree with us. We are working to bring more people to our movement and to win hearts and minds. If there are people who cannot fundamentally agree that freedom is important, we need to keep finding opportunities to talk to those who do cherish freedom. I mentioned earlier that our core values are the same as they have been for five years. After all, core value is not a core value if it's changing fiscal responsibility, constitutionally limited government, and free markets have been, are, and will continue to be our core values. Now we've enhanced the message around our principles, personalizing and defining our core values more simply and more clearly. We are talking about what we are for and where we want to see the country go. We stand for personal freedom and economic freedom, and we foresee a debt-free future for America. Personal freedom, that's really the constitutional issue and the biggest one overall. Economic freedom is a free market issue. And of course, a debt-free future, that's fiscal responsibility. So why the need to enhance the messaging of our core values? Because we are looking ahead we're not concentrating on what has been. It's the future that concerns us, and it's a future we want to help shape. Here's the key to our personal freedom principle. We support personal freedom so all Americans can live life the way they want, as long as it does not harm others or infringe on another's rights. You and I know the Constitution secures that personal freedom. As we've talked with people, we realize that most people don't know what's in that document. 
Yet, when we talk the talk in a different way and highlight what personal freedom is, most people are going to understand exactly what we mean. Economic freedom. We stand for economic freedom, which means a growing economy with reduced tax rates and reduced government spending, so we all have a chance to earn more money and businesses can hire more people. That's a very personal principle. Many hardworking, well-qualified people have been trying as hard as they can to find jobs. They aren't lazy. They don't sit on a couch every day looking for a handout. They want a job. And they totally understand the connection we're trying to make. By reducing tax rates and reducing government spending, the economy will grow. And that leads to more people earning more money and businesses hiring more people. It's a principle that resonates across all kinds of dividing lines, political, personal, and economic. A debt-free future. We support a debt-free future because it is only fair and right to pay the debt we have incurred so our children and grandchildren are not stuck with our bills. People agree that getting rid of the national debt should be a priority. We understand the $17 trillion debt is real money that must be paid eventually. It's why we get so upset about things like bailouts, higher debt ceilings, and the debt-ridden federal budgets. Neither party has the guts to stop the overspending. There is something every American can relate to, though. It's called the penny plan. If Washington will simply spend one penny less out of every dollar, we'll have a balanced budget by 2017. One penny. That's something everyone can understand. And what's mostly different about our messaging is our tone. It's incredibly positive and it looks to the future. The opposition attempts to marginalize and malign us. This new way of talking the talk sidesteps them so we can talk directly to our family, friends, neighbors, and coworkers in a way to win hearts and minds. As our polling demonstrates, everyday Americans agree with us on the issues and our values. They know there's something wrong, especially with a $17 trillion debt and thousand page bills that are passing out of Congress without our elected representatives even reading the bills. But everyday Americans don't really feel like it's a crisis yet. So if we talk to them in terms of doomsday, that's not going to resonate. What they're looking for are solutions, solutions to problems they know exist. Americans are an optimistic people. With our core principles, vision, and solutions, we offer opportunities for all Americans to join us. When we spread the message far and wide, we'll have family, friends, neighbors, and even our opposition enthusiastically saying to one another, pursue your American dream.